lovers, it is G-Swizz here and I'm here today with the Apocalypse Tag. tag was created by Red by Liv. I will link her original video down in the description so you can check it out. And I was filling this tag. So I'm gonna do this tag. So there are a few bookish apocalypse type of tags out there. And I just found this one intriguing. I found these questions to be really fun to answer. It's without further ado, I'm gonna get started with the tag. If you don't mind, I'm gonna read the questions off of my laptop because my phone is charging in the other room because my cord broke so I'm borrowing my mom's. So prompt number one is evacuate. Everyone is out safe but you can only go back and grab one book. <laughs> That's so hard. So which book do you grab and why? The book that I've decided that I'm gonna grab is the collector's edition of Divergent by Veronica Roth because number one, this was the book that got me into reading and I pretty much owe my reading life and my channel pretty much because I wouldn't have this channel without a reading life. I pretty much owe all of that to this one series right here and I've chosen this one because this is the closest one I'd ever get to a signed edition. <laughs> definitely justifies why I'd take this one first. Prompt number two is, it's the apocalypse. Choose a book that would help you with your survival skills. And for this one, I've decided to go with The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Because let's be real, this whole book is literally about being fit enough to survive in such a crazy world. Not even just the crazy games that they play known as The Hunger Games. No, it's not just about that. It's also surviving a crazy dystopian world like this. Just speaking about this world really does scare me, but at the same time, it's kind of prepared me for crazy things. I feel like this particular book would help prepare me even more if the apocalypse was a thing. Prompt number three is grab everything you will need. Grab a fan or book related item that you would want to save. And I've decided to go with my infinity gauntlet, which I've decided to wear just appropriately for this video. Because you know, I like wielding all this power, especially during the apocalypse. Maybe the apocalypse wouldn't even happen if I snapped my fingers and half the population disappeared. I'm <laughs> just saying. Wow, I'm becoming psycho. Prompt number four is zombies are coming. Which are the books on your TBR that you're dying to read? First one being Black Panther, The Young Prince by Ronald L. Smith. I really want to read this because I want to read a novel about young T'Challa, especially because I'm so interested in the world of Wakanda as of the moment. I just recently read another volume of Black Panther yesterday and I'm just currently in love with this world and these characters and so I would definitely love to read a novelization about it. The second book on my TBR that I'm dying to read is Arusha and the End of Time by Roshani Choshki. This is the first book in Rick Riordan's new imprint and that alone is enough to convince me to pick this up but also our protagonist loves to wear Spider-Man PJs and just based off of that fact I know that I can't relate to a middle grade protagonist more than that. I have to get to this one. And then the final TBR book that I'm gonna mention today that I am dying to read is Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvel. I honestly don't know whether this tag video is gonna go up after or before the booktubeathon, but during the booktubeathon, this will be my first read because I flipped a coin on it and this was the decided first read. So as of the moment, as I'm filming, I have currently not read this, but it is definitely on my to-be-read pile that I'm dying to read. I'm curious to see how this one goes. I need to go into it with a very open mind and low expectations because everybody is praising it. I'm hoping that I will not be disappointed by it. Prompt number five is We Need Fire. Which three books are you willing to burn from your shelf? Yes, you have to choose. And a lot of people are finding this question difficult. I would definitely have to say all the secondhand books that I purchased for 50 cents, like I honestly don't mind burning them at all. I don't know which ones in particular because I literally have around five to seven of them. So one of them, I honestly don't mind between them. But one in particular that was not 50 cents that I wouldn't be bothered burning at all is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by John Tiffany and Jack Bourne. I am willing to burn this. Even though Under the Dust Jacket is the prettiest thing in the whole wide world, I think this is the only reason why I'm keeping it because I really love that design. I keep it at the very bottom shelf because I honestly don't really care about it anymore. And I don't know, maybe one day I'll unhole it. Honestly, it's not taking up too much space because I literally put it on the bottom shelf and I never really look at it at all. Maybe I might reread it in the future just to do a hate read or something like that. I don't usually do that to myself, but I really do love play scripts. So yes, I love the experience of reading a play script. That's probably the reason why I enjoyed it at first, but the more I distance myself from this book, the more I really don't like it. So I'm fine with keeping it, but I'm also fine with burning it. I don't have that much of an attachment to this book. I just like it for aesthetic reasons and the script reasons, but I'm fine with burning it. This is, I, I feel so weird about answering this question, honestly. Prompt number six is all the stories were true. Which fictional world would you never be able to survive in? And for this prompt, I have to mention, again, Divergent by Veronica Roth. The reason why is because I'm Divergent. I know that I'm Divergent. So 
I know I wouldn't survive in this world unless of course I had the strength of Tris Pryor. Prompt number seven is the lone survivor. Which character would you choose to be your companion and protector through the apocalypse? And I definitely have to say Manon Blackbeak from the Front of Glass series. I could have gone with Selena Sardothian. I could have gone with Lysandra. I could have gone with Ansel. I could have even gone with a lead. But I have to go with Manon Blackbeak. I mean, I know that she wouldn't really put up with me as a friend because let's be real, like Manon does really cool on her own. But I would totally love to be friends with her still, even though it could potentially be one-sided. I just want her to protect me. So I'm gonna go with Manon Blackbeak. Prompt number eight is procreate. Wow, that rhymes. All of literature is gone. So which book would you introduce as the first new classic? Now, honestly, the answer to this question is so hard because I could go with Divergent, I could go with Strange the Dreamer, I could go with so many other books, but I've ultimately decided to go with Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi because let's be real, it's already a classic. It has had such a big impact in the booktube community and in the world and that is why I would choose it as a new classic. I know I will not stop raving about this book and I'm sorry to those who are annoyed about it, but... No, no, I'm not sorry. I don't care. Really, I really don't care. This book is amazing and if you haven't picked it up yet, I'm somewhat disappointed in you. I mean, it's your choice, but I'm somewhat disappointed in you. I'm just saying. Second of all, stop what you're doing. Read it. Read it. Just so you know, that was somewhat of a joke. I'm not really disappointed in you. You can read whatever you want, but I highly encourage you to read Children of Blood and Bird. I just have to say that now so you're not disappointed in me. Finally, prompt number nine is start a new community, tag a booktube buddy, and I'm pretty sure this person has not done this book tag. And if they have done this tag, I might potentially tag someone else. But at the moment, as I'm filming this video, I really do want to tag April Sarah. I really love watching her videos and I consider her a booktube buddy. So April, I tag you. So I guess that's going to be it for this video today, book lovers. If you want to purchase any of the books that I mentioned in this video today, all the book depository purchase links will be down in the description so you can check them out, you can purchase them, and you can help me out by doing so and I also have social medias. I'm at Gswizzle Books on Twitter and Instagram and I'm also at Goodreads. That's www.goodreads.com slash Gswizzle. I love you book lovers and I will see you later. Peace.